So this week we're back in the workshop and we're looking at the Dewalt T-Stack drawers and the Stanley Pro Stack drawers. Now Stanley Black & Decker own Dewalt and Stanley Fat Max, the brands. Uh, so these boxes are both the exact same, they're just different, slightly different colours, but the actual shape and template of them is the exact same. And we've got drawer inserts for them which slot straight into the drawers. We're going to be organising all five drawers uh, and we've got a mixed bag of tools to go in here. So um, these drawers here are actually in daily use. One of the contractors that's been working at our unit, um, this is his toolbox. So in here we've got... Um, We've got a combi drill and we've got an impactor and then a hole saw, set of hole saws and some other drill bits. And in here we've got a jigsaw with a battery and we've got a jigsaw set. Now if you've got a box like this, they do come with um, little totes inside. And obviously these are removable. What you'll notice is there's like a little grid in the bottom of the drawers. Now we've made our inserts to slot nicely inside here and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to cut out the little plastic ribs, you don't have to do anything. This just fits straight inside and it's a nice snug fit to make sure it doesn't go moving around, but it fits in there. And then in these lower drawers, we've got like a plastic grid which comes with them. Now these little grids can be removed, if you can get them out that is. There you go, they are pretty, they are pretty sturdy. The insert is designed to just slot in there as well and it'll just kind of, because the foam's slightly flexible, it'll just squeeze in around the ribs. And a 30mm insert sits in there. Obviously the tools that you put in here can't stand too proud, but it fits nice and snug in the drawer and you can put the tools deep into the foam and get, we're gonna get some hand tools organized in there. So, that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the power tool drawers in this box here and we're gonna show you how to cut an insert. So we've got two 50 mil inserts, and we've already got a rough layout, which the, uh, the guy whose tools these are has already kind of roughed out exactly how he wants them, but we're gonna try and, um, we've switched it up a little bit from how he had it, to try and fit a little bit more in, in the box. So we're gonna go for something roughly like this. I already had a bit of a, a play around with the layout. Then we're gonna go for the jigsaw in there with a set of jigsaw bits. So that should be a smashing. So when it comes to doing uh, these drawer inserts, you do have to take into account the actual depth you've got because obviously you want the drawer to slide in. So when you're doing a normal T-stack box, so for example, when we did this multi-tool box here, obviously the lid closes down on top. So you can actually, it's a little bit more forgiving because you can have the item standing proud and obviously you'll see on the, the top here, we've got a few ridges and we've got kind of an inset. And obviously some of the deeper parts, we can kind of line up with the, uh, the top sections and we can kind of make use of that space. But with a drawer, we don't have that. We've got to have, we've got to make sure all of the items are sitting flush. So the drawers have their advantages, which is that you can use the full T-stack system on a trolley and not have to remove all the boxes to get to what you want. You can just open the drawers. But the disadvantage is you do have to be a little bit clever with your layouts. So we're gonna start though with this jigsaw, because we're only fitting two items in this drawer. We've got the jigsaw with a battery in, so it's ready to go. And then a set of jigsaw blades, which is all we need. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in this position, because then we've got actually a nice bit of space here. So if there's a longer jigsaw blade in, it will still fit in the case, so we can keep it we want to make this set quite dynamic, so you're not having to like take a tool out and then clip the hose connector into it, clip the jigsaw bit in it. It makes more work for yourself. So we're gonna we're gonna have it as you would use it. So I've got the anti-cut gloves here, which uh, is a must whenever you're cutting with a scalpel blade. You want to make sure you're wearing these gloves. It's very easy to cut yourself. Uh, and we're gonna use this pack here because inside here, this is our little free pack that comes, like I say, with orders over fifty pounds. And in here you get some instructions just talking you through the process for cutting the foam. You also get a branded sticker, five blades and a scalpel. Okay, so we're gonna start with this jigsaw. It's obviously quite a complicated item, but it does sit nice and flat on the drawer. Now, another thing to consider, I mean, with these drawers, they're actually, the great thing about them is they are full extension drawers. So the drawer pulls out all the way. There's no kind of like lip on the back. So we can put this jigsaw right in the middle and we know, we know we're gonna be able to get it out. Make sure you've got your, uh, your item 
where you want it. All I'm doing there is I'm squaring up that bottom edge. Obviously, that's the front of the drawer there, so we're going to put it facing forward. Uh, make sure we've got a nice even gap around it and we've got it square on the insert. And then we just put, with this, we don't really need to put much pressure on it, but we just want to make sure it doesn't move. And we just use the scalpel to just trace cut around the item. What I'm going to come back to the blade, so I'm just going to skip, skip over the blade. And we're just cutting around the profile of the item, keeping nice and tight. And once we've done that, we can remove it from the foam. And if we press on the foam, we can see the cut we've made. And then we can follow back around and cut it deeper. Now, for something like this, a power tool, we don't want to cut all the way through, but we want to cut as far as we can. So with a 50mm insert like this, we're going to cut down about 40 mil and then we can leave a 10 mil base layer in. Now it might be that something like the battery that's a little bit deeper, we do end up cutting all the way through. Because obviously with something like this, the priority is that we can close the drawer comfortably and easily. We're not snagging on the actual item. <laughs> Okay, so that's that liner finished. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, obviously, we've just gone for quite a simple layout here. I mean, it's as simple as it gets, really. We've got the jigsaw, but we have cut it in there with the hose connection, with a battery, and with the jigsaw bit. So it's literally ready to go, and it's in the insert, and we've also got a set of jigsaw blades. And that, you know, for an insert, it's low cost. Uh, a pack of two of these you can get from the website. This is starting in 19.99 for two inserts, uh, 30 mil. We've got the six colors. And obviously, that's going to protect this jigsaw, which, you know, you're talking about £150 worth of tool here. And you're going to protect it, and you're going to know when it's missing, and you're going to know where it goes. You know, you don't even have to label your drawers. You open it, you're going to immediately know that's where the jigsaw goes. Do a quick test fit, make sure that the drawer closes, and then we'll move on to the next drawer. So this was going in the bottom one here. Just slot that in there. Perfect. So we've got the finger pulls there to make it easy, nice and easy to get out, but it fits and the drawer closes great. So on to the next drawer, we're going to do these drills. So that's another line of finished. We've done the combi drill and the impactor. And we've also cut in um, the contractor that uses this box only has a couple of hole saws that they use frequently. So they've got those there and they've got the arbor to go with them. And then they've got a set of impact bits and they've also got this set of, um, these are like, uh, what are they called? Speed out, these are like damaged screw extractors. So you put these in the combi drill and then you can pull out like knackered out screws. So it's a nice little efficient insert that as well, which is dialed in for the contractor that's using it. So we'll pop that in this top drawer. And what you might notice is on this liner, we've had to cut all the way through just on the battery connection on the impactor because essentially it's the belt clip, which I know that the, um, the guy whose toolbox this is, he wants to keep that on there because obviously he's clipping it on his belt. So we don't want to take that off, but obviously it gives it that extra bit of height. So we've had to cut all the way through the liner to make sure it sits down low enough so as not to snag on the drawer, because that will stop the drawer from opening, which will make life far more difficult. But we've also cut in there some finger grips, some finger pulls to make sure these come in and out nice and easy. And that is perfect. So we've got two really efficient drawers there. So that is one pack of drawer inserts has really sorted out those two, two boxes, which is fantastic. So the next thing we're gonna look at is the Stanley Pro Stack boxes, which we've got here. Okay, so I've, uh, I've sorted out the layouts for these two hand tool drawers. Now this toolkit's used by a data engineer, so these tools are quite specialist to their trade. 
So in this drawer, we've got some specialist crimping tools uh, and we've got these are like ethernet crimping tools for the end of uh, like Cat6 cabling um, and a telecoms tool here too. So they all fit in there nicely. In this drawer, we've got insulated VDE tools. We've got long nose pliers, bull nose pliers, uh, snips, a knife and alligator grips. All of these are Nipex. And then we've got a Weller gas soldering iron. This is a great little uh, item here, for, especially for a toolkit like this where you don't want cables. Just having that in a toolkit is fantastic. We've also got a set of uh, a little tube of solder and then a volt stick as well. So cutting these into the foam is very similar to the power tools. Uh, we don't have to cut as deep though, so it's actually a fair bit easier. Uh, so I'm just going to get my cut, group, uh, cut proof gloves on and then we'll get started. Okay, so we've done the uh, set of alligator grips, they're relatively simple. For something like this uh, soldering iron, which is like a cylindrical object, uh, you want to make sure that you are holding it quite firmly because it will have a tendency to shift on you. So we're just using the exact same principle but making sure that we, we keep that scalpel 90 degrees to the foam. There's also a tendency to kind of tip in because you, you're following a like a rounded edge and you really don't want that. You want to make sure you're cutting exactly around it. You're just trying to create that silhouette without moving the item. Once you've done that, same as always, you can remove the item and then we can cut back around it and make sure we've cut down deep enough. And the same principle, we don't have much clearance above this. We've only maybe got about three or four mil clearance above the liner, so we want to cut as, as deep as we can without cutting all the way through. And then afterwards, we're going to go back and we're going to add a finger pull to make sure we can get these items out. Because we'll, you'll see that the alligator grips we've cut there sit right flat down in the foam, which is great especially when we have that finger pull, because we know the door's going to close, the house nice and neatly, and we're going to have the door close, the drawer closing nice and easy. Okay, so that's the first drawer liner done and we've laid everything out um, with all the handles basically facing the same direction so we can put a, a finger pull all the way across. And this is a good way of saving space rather than uh, obviously how we did with the power tools, we kind of just put finger pulls left and right of the triggers and then items that are poking out above we didn't need finger pulls for. Uh, but with something like this, you know, it's, if we start putting like finger pulls left and right of all of the handles, we're really gonna you know, struggle to fit everything in really because we're gonna have to have a huge gap down the side of every item. So what we're gonna do instead is we put all of the handles close together and then we can just run a finger pull all the way across, which is gonna be perfect. Um, so all we have to do, we, we're gonna use a steel rule. This is just a standard uh, steel rule, 25 mil wide. And then all we're gonna do, we're gonna actually make the finger pull 25 mil wide. So we just hold it still, we put the gloves on, make sure, never forget. Now we've got it marked up where we want it, we can just hold it in place and we're just running the scalpel along each side to create our finger pull. Now we're not going to run it on to the edge, we're just going to literally go like that. And we're going to take the finger pull right down to the base that we've peeled out so that way we can get our fingers comfortably in and then underneath the tools. And when we've done that, we can just chase it along and just pull out these little pieces. And before we put all the other tools back in, we may as well put the drawer insert where it's going. So it's gonna go in this top drawer here. Does the drawer still close? Yes, perfect. So that's all we're going for. We've got all the items in there. We can get them all out nice and easy. They're all held nice and snug in there and the drawer closes. So we'll do the exact same again now with the crimps for the bottom drawer. Right, 
so that is how you organize the drawer inserts for the T-Stack drawers and the Pro-Stack drawers. Uh, you can adjust these, uh, you, well you can order these in whatever color you want, in whatever depth you need, and you can obviously tailor them infinitely into whatever tools that you've got. So I think for, uh, for this toolkit, we've managed to fit quite a lot in here. We've got a full set of kind of um, VDE pliers and snips. Uh, obviously we could do with another drawer here full of screwdrivers and stuff, but I think as a kind of a demonstration kit, this really shows what you can, how you can level up the T-Stack system. So you've got a full combi set there, that's a drill, impactor and all the drill bits and in the bottom we've got a jigsaw and jigsaw uh, box full of jigsaw blades. So if you're looking for inserts for your T-Stack system or your Pro-Stack system, head over to shadowfoam.com. We offer next day shipping on there. We've also got a variety of offers. We've got bulk offers if you buy more than one pack. We've also got free kits available, cutting kits available for orders over 50 pounds. And we've got a free T-shirt available for orders over 150 pounds. So check it out, shadowfoam.com, and we'll see you in the next video.